This is our first time at the Outside Lands Festival. It was great. I really loved the park. The crowd was big. We haven't played a big festival in a little while, so it was kind of, we were here yesterday and it was kind of overwhelming. We are very much like a bar band, you know, and it's really weird to play outside sometimes. During the day. But too early, man. You, you gotta come see Deer Tick after dark. <laughs> We definitely um, tailored the set. Yeah, well, you for have, a show like this. You yeah. gotta like cut it down. You know, it's obviously you're playing a festival, so it's basically like a sampler of a bunch of different bands. What you're getting. It's fun to kind of like, you know, pare it down to what can represent all those different types of music that we play. Playing a festival, we really benefit from kind of screwing around on stage and Sometimes. not not following the set list and not playing the song the same way every night. We really like what we do and we really like the music that influenced us and that we play and we're not trying to be anybody's favorite band, we're not trying to be hip. I think most people at these festivals are kind of like just along for the ride and for all the different types of music that are going to happen. Like when we get offered for a festival like this, we're like, this is great, it's just like a vacation for us to go play a show. We actually get to make fans and make our career last longer, so. But then on the uh, other end of it, we actually get to play with some idols and stuff like that. You know, we got a big tour of Europe in November. We're opening up for the Gaslight Anthem. We're gonna wrap up this little August tour and then do some festivals in Denmark. And then uh, next year, we're gonna take it easy. We're not gonna tour so much and we're gonna work on some new recordings. Uh -huh.